So there's no sign at the roadblocks. Yes, I am disappointed, but I have not lost hope, Robert. Uh, listen, just call me if there's any news, any time, day or night. All right, all right, I'll check with you. Thanks. Who was it? It was Scorpio. I can tell by the expression on your face there isn't any news. There's right? no sign of him at the roadblocks. There's no sign of him anywhere. Oh, my God. When are we going to find out Tiny, what is going on don't here? Don't let this get to you. I can't help it. I know that the stress isn't good for the baby. But what am I supposed to do? Ignore the fact that Frisco and Felicia are missing and might possibly be dead? They're going to wish they're dead if they don't have an, a, a logical explanation for this and a one hell of a good one. What are you talking about? You know, Tanya, I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of what they're doing to us again. Now, I'm sure they've got a great reason for this, you know? But what could be worth putting us through this kind of grief? Well, maybe they can't help it. All right, fine. Then somebody's got a gun at their head, because anything less than they should have called us. You know, for the past month, we have been nothing but frantic about my brother and his wife. You're supposed to be giving birth to our child right now. We're supposed to be happy about this. We're supposed, supposed to be a joyful time, and it's not. I mean, we don't do anything. We All we do is we talk about them. We talk about Frisco and Felicia, and I am sick of it. You know something? You lost our child to, because of them the last time. And I'm not going to let it happen again. From now on, I am devoting my life to you and to that child. And you are now my family in Port Charles, not them. 
me. It surprises me to hear you talk like this. Why? Because I'm out for number one for us for a change for me? But listen to yourself. Can't you hear? It sounds selfish. Listen, if the health of my baby is, is selfish, then I'm guilty. I'm, I'm very proud of it. Tanya, we have lived and died for Frisco. For Frisco and Felicia for all this time, and I, I'm so sick of it. What about us? Let Frisco just take care of himself for a while. Frisco! so she wouldn't think we were together. Maybe she bought it. I don't know. What if she's on to us? What if everybody's on to us? How could they be? We just got here. She scares me. She was sleeping and it felt like she was just staring at me. Frisco, I just want to get out of here. No, we can't. Why not? Except for that invoice, we haven't the slightest bit of proof that anything crooked is going on. No, we might. We might. Now, I saw several new chests delivered this afternoon. Now, we got to find out what's inside of them. I have no intention of allowing anything to happen to us. I promise you, we'll be fine. <laughs> 